Hello and welcome to Young Athletes Fitness, a fitness channel by young athletes for young athletes. My name is Sterling Nacosta. In this video, we will be introducing a kicking and punting tutorial presented by future NFL prospect Wilson Yee. But before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button along with the notification bell and make sure you drop your comments and questions down below. Now, on with the video. Hello, my name is Wilson Yee, kicker at Independence Community College of the KJCCC and the NJCAA. In this video, I'm going to show you some beginner kicking drills that I do to help me kick the football to the best of my ability, even in college. The purpose of drill work is to isolate and train multiple parts of this complex and unnatural movement. Keep in mind that each drill may not have just a single focus. It's important to divide reps and assign each division a single focus. Examples are to follow. For the no-step field goal drill, you're going to first want to put your foot on the proper part of the football. This is in what's called a wedged position with your foot rolled towards the football with your heel slightly off the ground. Second, because a soccer style football kick has a slightly arced path, we want to put ourselves on that arc. Third, in your swing, place your foot back to the football. Make sure to follow through downfield. The main focus should be proper foot to ball contact and a swing downfield. Proper foot to ball contact meaning in a rolled position, the top of your foot should make contact with the sweet spot of the football. It is important to recognize that when you're at standstill during this drill, the placement of your plant foot will not match that of a full speed rep. This is because the position of your body naturally leans to the outside of the frame at full speed. This is to the left if you are right footed and to the right if you are left footed. Proper alignment for this drill should depend on good foot to ball contact. The next drill is our half triangle field goal drill. This drill will utilize our full field goal steps. Note the half round laid at my plant foot at a 45 degree angle. This serves as a boundary. It's important to finish towards our target instead of towards our boundary. This is to prevent our swing from cutting across the football and to prevent our momentum from going too far outside of our frame. Instead, this is to keep our momentum going towards our target so that we may hit a cleaner, higher, and straighter ball. This drill currently serves as a personal favorite of mine as this is my primary emphasis. Lastly, and this applies to every kicking drill in this video and every kicking drill in general, make sure your ankle stays firm through contact. Setting up this drill is simple. Simply put your kicking foot on the spot that will act as your ball and put your plant foot at a 90 degree angle relative to your kicking foot. Here's another angle of where you put your feet. When kicking the football off, you must utilize a slightly separate set of skills. Notice how at the moment of the kick, our weight distribution and our finish is slightly different. For this drill, we're also going to be using the half round and we're going to be using our full kickoff steps. The half round should be placed slightly to the left of the kicking block or to the right if you're left footed and slightly in front. There are modifications to this and modifications are to follow. All modifications of this drill will be based around finishing up and over the half round bag. To train your upward explosion, place the half round closer to the kicking block. To train your downfield finish, place the bag farther away from the block. Early on, your kickoff steps should be natural and easy to find. Don't overthink it.
emphasize on being smooth and having a gradual explosion to the football. Punting has more moving parts. Punting and kicking are what I would consider two different set of skills. As a beginner, the most important part of the punt, and really the only one we should be focusing on, is the drop. In my opinion, the drop is the most important part of any punter's game. To an extent, the way you grip the ball can be unique, but I'm going to show you how I grip it. I first start by placing the middle finger along this seam of the football. Second, I make sure that on the nose of the football, this pad of skin is placed there. Lastly, I make sure my wrist is locked but not tilted at an awkward angle. To train our drop, we're once again going to use our lines. The height at which you drop the ball can be played with, but for drilling purposes, I usually drop just higher than my hip. I flare my guide arm, my left arm, right arm if you're a left footer, at or just above my eye level. When I drop, I let go of the ball so that it drops evenly with no rotation. I drop the ball on the line and make sure that it rolls at an angle, not straight back to my body. This slightly nose down angle helps us match the ball to our foot. It'll be from the far side hash mark. He gets the kick up, plenty of leg, he hammers it. It's good! Yeehaw, baby! Nice kick, Wilson! He puts it through the uprights from 40 yards out. Click on our video on your screen. It is the next step in helping you reach your athletic and fitness goals on this continuing journey. Again, please hit that like and subscribe button along with the notification bell and make sure you drop your comments and questions down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.